Good morning, everyone. Buongiorno, everybody. Buongiorno. This is Jackie Henry from Remax Desert Showcase. And I'm Steve Valley with Fairway Independent Mortgage. And welcome to Demystifying, Demystifying Real Estate. Estate. Hey, Steve. Hey, Jackie. We got three questions that came in. I'm so excited. People are calling and asking questions. Actually, they emailed me. But that is so awesome. So I printed them out, and I'm gonna once the first one's for you. Oh, uh oh. Uh, hold on. I have. I didn't get to prepare for this. No, you didn't. I know how you, uh, so get prepared though, because we're, these are how the questions are going to come in. Okay. So, there you go. I'm ready. Hey, let me put this up here. The answer to the question <laughs> is, okay, Steve, I have a question about, uh, I want to purchase a home for my parents. Are there any programs out there that can help me uh, with this and not having to put down a 20% down payment or is that something I just have to deal with? Of course, there's, there's uh, options for that. In fact, at Fairway, we've got a program, a special program that allows somebody who currently has a primary residence, like me, like you, to help a parent or, or in some cases even help a child who doesn't have enough income or maybe is uh, doesn't have the ability to work, maybe sometimes is disabled, disabled okay. and help them buy a house and actually purchase it for them as a primary residence. Wow, that's really nice. So in that type of case, you can actually have two primary residences. You can own your primary residence, not intend to move into the new primary residence, but if, if you're buying it in that situation with our program, you can buy it as a primary residence, put less down. That's awesome. And, and obviously not have the risk, not have the higher rate associated with maybe a second home or an investment property. Anyway. That is awesome. Mom, you're getting your own place. All right, very good. All right, All right so the next question is, <laughs> Jackie, what's the market like? Okay, it depends on what you, you know, what you're asking. What's the market like? It's, you know, if you're a buyer or seller, so be more specific and I'll answer that question. All right, so the next one is, I- Okay, I'll answer that question. Okay. Or, or I'll, I'll ask the question, okay. I'll further the question. Okay. What's the market like for a buyer? Oh, uh, look at you sneaking in and not letting me prepare. Well, Currently, as of today, so is September 19th, 2018, it is still a seller's market. So what that means is the inventories are still low. Mm -hmm. uh, you are still going to be battling, um, although it is getting better, um, multiple offers on homes that are under 250. You are going to start. You still are going to see multiple offers. It's still aggressive. It's there. still very aggressive. You still cannot come in under list price and expect to get the deal. You're not going to win the day with a low ball offer or what we consider low ball is anything under list price and you ask for closing costs. So for and, example, and, and nitpicking for repairs. And yeah, stuff like that. There, so the sellers have 10 people lined up. They don't need you this light bulb is out right yes exactly <laughs> and we have buyers like that because they're not aware they're not aware so you want to be more aware that you you know if you can fix it yourself if you can uh, put up the more the most amount of money you can if you want a house and you're under 250 you need to put your best foot forward right out of the gate so that's where the market is for buyers yeah so so in a lot of cases they're not even countering right now right they're nope. just they're just looking at all the offers saying, we're going to take this one. That's right. No, there used to be a couple months ago where we'd do a big multiple offer. And you'd have 10 offers you did. And everybody would have an opportunity to raise their, no, now they're taking, sometimes that still happens. I shouldn't say no, but now a lot of times they're taking the highest and best and just moving on. They just want to get this over with and done. And uh, so it, it's very important that you don't try and lowball. You don't try and nitpick to death. Uh, the uh, repairs because the seller is going to say no and walk away because he's got 10 offers sitting back there just waiting for you to fall out yeah so they've got them all they've got it covered even if they if you fall out that's, that's right so you got to remember that when you're putting an offer. so that's where the market is for buyers right now okay awesome all right so now the here let me read one okay jackie i am purchasing a home and it has termites should i be worried about that no because you're in arizona if we're here in arizona <laughs> There are only kind of two kinds of houses you need to worry about. Oh, oh, I know those. Okay, what is it? You, a home with termites, and a home that hasn't had termites yet. No. It's a home that has termites, or and a home that will have termites. That's gonna have termites. Okay. There's only two kinds of homes. They're gonna have termites, or they have termites. So if you're in the middle of purchasing a home, and the term it has termites, 
that's not a big deal. Let the seller pay for the treatment with a one-year warranty. Every house in Phoenix is going to, at some point, get termites. It's not a big deal here in Phoenix. It's not the the, the wood-destroying ones that they have back east, so it's not as fearful. It's subterranean termites. Well, not, they're still wood-destroying. They're just not quite as bad. They're not. Well, no, they're not as fast, so yeah, they're not going to eat your house up in th six months. It's going to take years and years and years for these subterranean termites to actually do serious damage, but they do it from the ground up, and so you want to make sure that you get you check them and make sure that you get rid of them because you, you really don't want that to happen either. Yeah, and again, that's an ideal situation almost, so to speak, is is if it has termites, then you then you can have the seller um, do the termite repair and then and have them have a one-year warranty. One year war which you can renew every year. Yeah, so so generally if they does not have termites, you're not going to have that one-year warranty. That's right, right. that's right. So unless that's, you pay for it yourself. Right, well, so it's almost better. It, it's not because it's kind of scary, but it is <laughs> in the sense that now you've already got that guarantee yeah. and the one-year warranty. So if you're a new buyer or even if you're an experienced buyer, this is nothing to worry about in Arizona. In fact, I have coming up, I have a, a pest control guy who wants to interview with us on our panel. And so when I, we will bring him on in a couple weeks and then we will be able to go over more things that you can look at in your own house looking for bugs and stuff like that. So that'll be interesting. Awesome. That'll be interesting. Yes. So that's it. That's all the questions I got for today. That's it? That's it. Oh, this is a fast show. It's a fast We're show. We're actually going to start trying to make them a little bit faster because... Well, because you guys get bored and hang up on us. Yes. You guys, so. <laughs> yeah. Statistics show that, that people don't watch 10-minute shows like we're used to doing. No, so, so we're going to keep it short. Have a great day. Send in your questions, and we'll answer them next week. So my, yep. my name is Jackie Henry. My phone number is 623-910-7249. That's my direct line. You'll get me every time. And I'm Steve Valley with Fairway Independent Mortgage, 602-410-9087. I just want to say one more thing. Ask a realtor. Ask a lender. Send in your questions. There you go. Bye. Have a great day. Bye-bye.